Okay, so in this unit, I'm going to talk to you about diffusion and osmosis, as well as factors that affect the rate at which diffusion occurs. So, diffusion is, for the context of the lab, random movement of molecules or ions from an area of high concentration area of low concentration. When molecules or ions move from this area of higher concentration to this area of lower concentration, they are said to be moving down their concentration rate. So they move down concentration gradient. Okay, now osmosis is defined as the diffusion of water across a selectively permeable membrane. And we should probably define what selectively permeable means. Okay, so diffusion and osmosis and now I want to define selective permeability because it's going to play a major role in some of the experiments that are performed later in this lab. So, selective permeability is the ability or the potential of a membrane to limit what can permeate it, that is, move through it, based upon physical or chemical characteristics. So physical characteristics would be the relative size of an ion or a molecule. Chemical characteristics might be the charge. Are they polar or nonpolar? Okay. So this is going to come back in several of the experiments we're performing in this particular lab. So in this review, I'm going to talk about the effects of mass and temperature on diffusion. So in this particular exercise, the instructor took two auger plates. So we have these two auger plates. And the first thing you need to know about auger is that it is a semi-solid, which means it's not quite solid, it's definitely not liquid, it's somewhere in between. So what this actually means for the substance, this auger that's kind of a jello-like substance, is that it is porous. So it has pores in it, 
And what that means is that molecules can actually move through those pores. So if I put a dye into this gel, that dye, in theory, could diffuse. So what we did in this exercise was we used two different dyes. One was called Janus Green, and it was fairly large in terms of its molecular weight. And the other was called Potassium Permanganate. So, your instructor took a straw and cut two holes out of the auger. Okay, so they removed that auger. They added Janus Green to one of those holes and potassium permanganate to the other. So, we fill each of these cavities that we've created in these plates with the dye, either Janus Green or potassium permanganate. And in the first part of this experiment, you're asking the question, which of these two is going to diffuse through that auger faster? So the way you're going to know that is, after a certain period of time, you're going to see a halo of dye surrounding each of these cavities. Whichever halo is larger represents the molecule that diffuse through the plate fastest. And that's going to be based upon the actual molecular weight of these two. So the first thing you need to know is that smaller molecules and molecules with a lower molecular weight, lighter molecules, are going to diffuse faster than heavier molecules. So Janus Green of these two is the heavier. Potassium permanganate is the lighter. So after we let this plate sit, for 30 minutes, what you should have seen was a fairly large halo of potassium permanganate around its cavity. Or you only probably saw a very small halo of Janus Green surrounding its cavity. Okay. So again, the difference in molecular weight has an effect on diffusion. The lighter of the two molecules, that is the molecule with the lower molecular weight, diffuses through this auger much faster than the molecule that's heavier or has a greater molecular weight. So that was the first experiment, okay, or the first part of this experiment, and it was comparing the rate of diffusion of potassium permanganate to that of Janus Green. The second part of this experiment analyzes the effect that temperature has on the rate of diffusion. So, in the first exercise, or the first part of this exercise, we're comparing Janus Green to potassium permanganate. In the second part of this exercise, we're going to be comparing Janus Green on one plate to Janus Green on another plate, and potassium permanganate on one plate to potassium permanganate on another plate. So again, I take my straws and I cut these recesses into this auger, and I drop in more Janus Green. And more potassium permanganate. So more Janus Green, more potassium permanganate. And I incubate this first plate at room temperature, which, depending upon where you are, is anywhere between 25 to 27 degrees Celsius. This other plate, I incubate at 37 degrees Celsius. It was placed into an incubator in the room. And if we look on a molecular level, what's actually happening when we increase the temperature is that we're causing the kinetic energy of these substances to increase. So the molecules are moving faster, which means we are going to increase the speed at which diffusion occurs. In other words, molecules 
in this environment are going to diffuse through the plates faster than molecules at this temperature. Okay? So what we expect to see is a slightly larger halo around Janus Green on the 37 degree plate compared to the room temperature plate and a larger halo around the potassium permanganate cavity on the 37 degree plate compared to the room temperature plate. So again, just to recap, both of these plates were made at the same time. Both of them were filled with dye at the same time. We placed one at room temperature and one at 37 degrees Celsius. When the 30 minute incubation period was up, we could look at two different things. First and foremost, on either plate, we could compare the halo dye or the halo of potassium permanganate to the halo of Janus Green to compare how fast potassium permanganate diffused through the auger compared to Janus Green. That was the first exercise. The second was to compare the effect that temperature had on the rate of diffusion. So for that, instead of comparing potassium permanganate to Janus Green, we're going to look at potassium permanganate on the room temperature plate compared to potassium permanganate on the 37 degree plate. Or we're going to look at Janus Green on the room temperature plate compared to Janus Green on the 37 degree plate. And what we found in both cases is first and foremost, because potassium permanganate has a lower molecular weight than Janus Green, it diffuses through the auger faster than Janus Green. So on both plates, I see a larger halo of potassium permanganate than I do of Janus Green. The second thing we took away from this was that if we increase the temperature, it's going to result in the molecules diffusing through the auger faster. So I see here that my halo of Janus Green is slightly larger on the 37 degree plate than it is on the room temperature plate. And the same can be said for potassium permanganate's halo. It's larger on the 37 degree plate than it is on the room temperature plate, suggesting that diffusion occurred faster, <clears throat> or the molecules, I'm sorry, were able to diffuse faster on this plate than they were on this one. So that concludes the lecture on the effects of mass and temperature on diffusion.